Everyone knows that Selena Gomez is the sweetheart of the celebrity kingdom. She's grown up right before our eyes, her personal life put on display for all of us to see. She's blossomed into a beautiful woman and has proven that she's more than your average starlet. She's been incredibly successful in everything that she's pursued, whether it's been film, television, or music. But it seems not everyone has been on Selena's team. Is it really true that a brand new show is facing possible cancellation because of comments made about Selena's health? How was Selena really coping after being diagnosed with yet another condition earlier this year? Before we spill all the beans, please make sure to subscribe to Rumor Juice to keep up with the latest and the juiciest celebrity news. Despite growing up under the spotlight and being diagnosed with a painful chronic health condition, Selena has always maintained a down-to-earth attitude, showing kindness to those around her while never letting her celebrity status get to her head. Selena has always been candid with her fans when it comes to her mental health, and it's one of the reasons they love her so much. Mental health is a touchy subject for anyone to open up about, but for those living under a microscope, it can be even more difficult to disclose any information about mental health issues. Selena Gomez opened up in 2015 about her struggle with lupus. This is a chronic and incurable autoimmune disease that occurs when your body's immune system attacks your own tissues and organs. Selena's confession was met with an outpour of love and support from fans all over the world. Writer and producer Chelsea Briggs tweeted, I can't even put into words how much Selena Gomez inspires me. Such a beautiful soul. Sending her all the love today. Selena is not unfamiliar when it comes to having her personal life broadcast all over the news. Her love life was notorious for taking over the tabloids. There was almost nothing left to the imagination while she dated Justin Bieber on and off again between 2010 and 2018. Yes, it went on for that long. We can't believe it either. Selena also dated The Weeknd for 10 months in 2017, and that was a whirlwind of a romance too. Of course, the tabloids ate up everything they possibly could about their very public relationship, and we were all heartbroken when the couple was confirmed to have split in October 2017. At the beginning of 2017, Selena had begun to take a hiatus from social media. She stated that it was causing her to have terrible anxiety and panic attacks and we can't blame her. The battle between Selena fans versus Justin Bieber's believers was proving to be endless. Even after she had released new music, there was still not much of an effort on her part to do any promotions, which caused concern amongst her fans. People were beginning to notice that things on Selena's side were quiet. A little too quiet. Finally, Selena decided to open up to her fans and let them know why she'd been lying low for so long. She announced in an Instagram post that she had a kidney transplant in the summer of 2017 and people were totally shocked. She received the kidney from her best friend and fellow actress Francia Raisa. She gave me the ultimate gift and sacrifice by donating her kidney to me. I am incredibly blessed. I love you so much, sis. She wrote in her post, oh, where are the tissues? We're tearing up over here. If you think her rough patch ends there, think again. In an interview with Miley Cyrus on her show Bright Minded, Selena Re Recently, I went to one of the best mental hospitals in America, McLean Hospital, and I discussed that, after years of going through a lot of different things, I realized that I was bipolar. She went on to say that receiving the diagnosis right before the lockdown triggered by corona made things a lot more difficult for her. She also said that, although it was hard, she tried to find what she needed to get through this time and her friends, family, and therapist played a big part in keeping her positive. Selena really hasn't had an easy time over the last few years, but she's always maintained an honest relationship with her fans, which is what makes her so relatable. She reminds us that she's only human and we shouldn't be ashamed of ourselves when we're going through a difficult time. Because I, I had everything and I was absolutely broken inside. If there's anything that Selena has taught us, it's that mental health is important and we need to take time to take care of ourselves. But there is a little bit of light at the end of the 2020 tunnel. It hasn't been all bad for Selena this year. On September 3rd, Selena launched her very own makeup line, Rare Beauty, which has been received with open arms by makeup lovers all over the world. So I'm very grateful that that happened because I feel like it was a moment I got to just share with people. She describes her brand to be makeup made to feel good in without hiding what makes you unique and we love it. 
To promote her new makeup line, Selena paired up with Vogue magazine to record a video of herself showing off her makeup routine with her rare beauty products. Fans were quick to notice that Selena's hands were very shaky while she applied on some of her makeup and expressed their concern. This wasn't the first time her fans noticed her trembling fingers. In her short HBO series, Selena Plus Chef, What are you gonna teach me to cook? Selena's hands can be seen visibly shaking while she's cutting up some meat. It was clear that her trembling hands were a side effect from her battle with lupus, and this just made fans send even more love and support to her. Her shaking hands are just a reminder of the silent battle she's fighting against this painful chronic disease. It was just very complicated because I didn't understand, and then that was something I did want to keep private until my whole life suddenly wasn't private. So, taking into consideration everything that Selena has been through in the past couple of years, how could it be possible that anyone has anything bad to say about her? Well, believe it or not, they do, and it was broadcast on a TV show for all to hear. You've probably heard of the hit show Saved by the Bell that was originally aired in the late 80s and ran until the early 90s. The show tells the story of six kids while they go through the turmoils of high school that any normal teenager would face. The show was a huge hit, launching the career of young actors like Mario Lopez. What you might not know is that Saved by the Bell was rebooted in 2020, with its first episode airing on November 25th. However, we're not sure if the sixth episode was received as well as everyone had hoped. In one of the show's scenes, two of the characters are seen arguing about Selena's kidney transplant and who had donated their kidney to her. One of the girls says it was Justin Bieber's mom that had donated the kidney, and the other girl argues with her, insisting that she knows it was Demi Lovato. Later in the show, there's writing that can be seen on the wall that says, Does Selena Gomez have kidneys? Um, we're not exactly sure what the point of making fun of Selena's health was. We're all up for a good joke, but we didn't think it was that funny, and neither did Selena's fans. Her supporters immediately came to her defense, calling out the show for being nasty and insensitive. Fans tweeted, WTF is wrong with this show and its obsession with Selena's health. This is so disgusting and unnecessary. Joking about someone's disease is not funny whatsoever. It's just so cruel and unjust. Selena doesn't deserve that and no one else deserves that either. Respect Selena Gomez Soon after the pilot was released, the hashtag Respect Selena Gomez began to trend on Twitter, with fans defending Selena and demanding an apology from the show's producers. Another fan tweeted, My parents just asked why Respect Selena Gomez was trending. After I explained to them what had happened, my dad had tears in his eyes. My grandma passed away due to lupus, and people making jokes on it made my dad feel awful. This is something that affects me a lot. The producers of the show, NBC Universal, later responded to the backlash on Twitter by apologizing for what was said on the show. They added that it was never their intention to make light of Selena's health. They also said that they would be making a donation to Selena's charity, the Selena Gomez Fund for Lupus Research at USC. Selena's best friend, Francia Raisa, who had been the one to donate her kidney, responded on Twitter, stating that although she appreciated the apology, it's important not to forget about other donors that may have been dismissed and deserve to be respected. While they have apologized for the comments about Selena's health, fans continue to demand that the scenes from the show mocking her kidney transplant are cut from the show completely. While we're sure that the show's intention wasn't to do any harm, we can't help but feel like the jabs at Selena's health were taking it a little too far. Selena has faced endless backlash online, whether it comes to her romantic life or her mental health. Even so, she's always managed to put on a brave face and smile through it all. She can definitely teach us a lesson in ignoring the bullies and prioritizing one's mental well-being. After fighting so many emotional and physical battles, we hope that this is the last of it for Selena. What do you think about the comments made by Saved by the Bell? Do you think they were wrong for making these comments about Selena? Or do you think everyone else is being a little too sensitive? We want to know what you think. Leave your opinions in the comments below. Until next time. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below, and do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.